Oscar reading Cyber Dogs and Citizens of the Interbubs. This is Ren Diggity Crunk coming at you in episode 10 of this SevTech Survival series. Now we understand what's wrong with Crunk. There is literally nothing in his head. Oh man, welcome back to Crunk Island everybody, episode 10, oh my goodness, I cannot believe how far we have come together guys, it has been one epic journey, last episode we made our very first TP, and now every single morning when I wake up, my feet go into the beach sand, my toes slip through the sand, I have a beautiful awakening, I come out here, I stretch, I do a bit of yoga, and then I can see the sun rising a bump above Crunktopia over there, and it is, it's glorious waking up on Crunk Island these days, guys, I'm waking up feeling like a million freaking bucks, man. Last episode, we also created a bunch of leather over here on our drying racks, and since the last episode, I've been spending a bunch of time making some leather. I've made another 49 leather bits over here, and that means we might be able to make ourselves our very first bit of armor here in SevTech. We'll be able to make some leather armor out of this, but there is something more important that I'd like to do with you guys on this very fine episode of SevTech, and I am sure there's a ton of, out of you out there who are starting to get a little bit frustrated by the fact that the Rendigate Dog has taken so long to get through this tutorial. So I thought what we could do today, guys, is settle down and actually start working on a few of these things. Let's sort of whip through a couple of these easy to finish achievements here uh, in the advancements page. And we need to get to the first age. We're currently in age zero right now, <laughs> even though we've got ourselves a farm, even though we've got ourselves a crunk cave, even even though we have got leather drying outside of the cave, we have yet to exit the tutorial. Speaking of awesome things, let's pick up some of these delicious potatoes and let's check in on nutrition real quick. Okay, so grain and fruit are struggling right now. Looks like fruit is taking the biggest hit. Um, good news though, on the food front, these apple trees, my goodness, they are ridiculously um, fruitful. <laughs> Look how many apples I've managed to collect over here, guys. A stack and 27. I'll take the 29 apples. We'll be munching on this today, I think. That seems like a, a pretty good food source for us today. But guys, I would like for us to start cranking through some of these things. A few of them are kind of easy to achieve. So shall we settle in for a little bit of uh, SevTech achievement hunting? Also, we'll be able to make ourselves this mattress over here, or the sleeping mat. And that means we can actually start traveling in the world. Because with that sleeping mat, we can travel without worrying about the sun setting right because then we can just sleep the night away so through some of these achievements i think we're going to do really well and uh, on top of that a few of these achievements actually need leather and now that we have a ton of leather available we can actually crank through these achievements like a nobody's business so my dudes settle in get yourself a tasty beverage crunchy snack i've got 29 apples to get through it's time to get some achievements going over here man okay so where to begin my friends why don't we start all the way at the top of the list over here lost but now found trade for an antique atlas map from a cartographer or librarian villager. Well, that will be pretty easy to do, although that's all the way back at the village. We'll skip that one for now. Maybe we'll come back to that one uh, at the end of the episode. How about this one? If you cannot locate certain resources from underwater, use a water strainer base and insert a strainer. Okay, so that looks like an easy one to get going with over here, guys. Let's try and remember what that strainer looks like. We made the fisherman strainer already, right? That did a great job for us catching all of that fish. And the next one, it looks like, needs to be made out of dense net with sticks around it. And that just requires a bunch of string. Wow, that is a super easy one. Uh, although, we are kind of running out of string right now. This is literally the last of our string, I think, which is pretty bad. Uh, anyway, let's get our crafting rock and crunk a smash for the very first time today. I think there's going to be quite a lot of smashing happening today, my friends. Uh, there we got two dense nets out of that, so that's pretty good. And this is then the dense net surrounded by some stick action. So that's actually kind of easy, although we don't have enough sticks right now. <laughs> As you can see, guys, my inventory is looking nice and neat, isn't it? Oh man, Krunk's been keeping him's brain nice and functioning in this series trying to keep everything as neat as possible it definitely makes life a lot easier however the problem is of course when uh, you know keeping track of the resources that we have is kind of tricky especially when uh, we're making all of these weird sort of things here uh, but that should be enough to make a strainer over here right let's crank that in there 
And I'm thinking maybe we could replace our fisherman strainers with a different type of strainer. We have so much food now, right, uh, right now, guys. We have like a stack of cooked fish already. I don't think we're going to need to catch any more fish for a very long time. Uh, but there is the strainer. Okay, this is getting strenuous. <laughs> Nice pun. Uh, very good. Um, I don't exactly know what this strainer does, though. Shall we go quickly over to the fish farms and see? Uh, this one might get us really basic things. I would love to get for ourselves some cobblestone or something like that, right? So we can carry on working on our cave. But I think we actually can see the recipes over here. Uh, so this strainer, we don't know what that does. This strainer is unfamiliar. Okay, so it looks like we have to unlock these strainers um, in the next age, perhaps. This one gives us wood. That is insane. This one gives us the same as a lot of them. This one gives us shark tooths, ink sackages, sand, dirt, and gravel, which is kind of interesting. This one gives us wood also. Oh, this one gives us stone. That's really good. Um, and that's the fishing one, of course, and the wood one. Okay, so this strainer will be able to get us some shark tooths. I don't exactly know what we can do with shark tooths. Shall we check it out? That's actually kind of interesting. Shark tooths, uh, we can get from the strainers. Yes, what can we make out of them? Ooh, this makes the flame grilled whopper. Place under clay kiln or stone grill. Works as a fire source for basic automation. Oh, that is magic. So instead of having fire under our kilns, we can just have this hot hopper, and I believe this is actually one of the achievements over here that we need to do. Oh, that's amazing. Okay, so maybe we should actually start straining here. Uh, maybe we can just put the survivalist strainer into one of our traps instead of both of them. Can we actually remove the net? Uh, how do we do that? If we shift right click? No? Well, kind of. <laughs> that kind of works. Um... Do we have to, like, shift it? How do we get this thing out of here? Oh, there. Jeez, uh, I'm an idiot. Okay, so let's put the basic strainer in there. I suppose we need to have uh, bait? Or is this baitless? Oh, look at this. I think that's baitless. Because this one says bait required. Ow, hold on. Let's do a little bit of breathing. But this one actually doesn't need any bait whatsoever. Wow. Okay, that is really cool. Maybe we should make another one of these strainers um, and double up on getting some of those shark teeth. We're going to need quite a few of those burning hoppers, right? We're going to need one, two, three, four, five burning hoppers at the very neat, at the very least, excuse me. So we do need to have uh, at least uh, two of those. Wow, Crunk, what is wrong with your brain? Oh, yes, it's completely empty. Give me one second here, guys. I need to sip my tea, man. This is some technical jazz happening up in this business. Mm. There we go. What was I trying to say? We need at least five shark teeth in order to achieve our goal over here, guys. So let's cut ourselves down a few more bits of wood over here. Now, the reason that I wanted to do this episode with you guys this way today, guys, because I realized that over the last few episodes, I've kind of been skipping a lot of this manual labor that you have to do in SevTech. And for me, I don't know, I feel like I want to take you guys on the same tech journey completely. I was starting to fall into the YouTuber trap of like uh, missing a whole bunch of stuff, you know, doing a whole bunch of stuff off camera. And I realized this because I was looking at our playtime and we're at about 11 hours worth of playtime. And of course, this is episode 10, which means that, well, each episode has taken me about an hour to create on average. But each episode is about 20 minutes long, which means that each episode has had sort of an average of about 20 to 40 minutes off camera. And that is a lot of off camera work that you guys are missing. And I kind of don't want that to be a thing. I want you guys to enjoy <laughs> the SevTech experience with me. And one of the things that I really enjoy about SevTech is the fact that it is super grindy. I know lo lots of people don't like super grindy mod packs, but I am a big fan of super grindy mod packs. Oh, look at this. This is interesting. It actually has... Uh, 117 uses left. Okay, so it has a finite amount of uses, these nets. Um, and this is now absolutely full. Shall we just pick up all of the stuff here, guys? Yeah, let's pick up the stuff that we fished out of this to make space for the stuff that's coming in. Look at that. We've already got two bits of gravel and a bit of sand there. That is awesome. And I suppose we'll clean this one up too. Uh, but yeah, I'm a big fan of grindy mod packs. And let me explain to you guys exactly why. I really enjoy having to work really, really hard in the beginning of a mod pack and eventually uh, achieving automation of the production of resources, for example, right? And it just feels so amazing 
when you have been manually collecting stuff and manually producing food and manu manually producing all of your stuff in a mod pack, it feels so amazing to eventually just ha have everything automated, right? It's, it, it's incredible. It, it feels like getting a degree at university or something, you know? It, it is an absolutely awesome feeling. But if I don't take you guys along for the grind, then you guys won't really have that feeling with me. Um, so... I think the next couple of episodes we're going to spend doing a bit of the grind together. Um, I hope you're up for it, my dudes. I'm definitely ready to go for as long as we need to, guys. I love grinding a bit of modded Minecraft, man. It is super fun and really rewarding. Um, let's move on, though. We have just made the strainer. Excellent. This one is Dude, Where's My Biome? You'll need to seek out Darkland Biomes to continue your journey. Oh, interesting. So this might be what we need to do to unlock the next age of Save Tech. But I have got a little bit of a plan that I see brewing over here. Over here is making a saddle. And do you guys remember all the way at the beginning of the series, we saw a really fast horse all the way back at spawn, like in a lake. It looked really fast. I reckon before we head over to that biome, right? Before we head over to this Darklands biome, let's go tame that horse. Let's get ourselves a freaking horse in the series, man. And I guess to do that, we're going to need a lead and a saddle because we're going to have to drag that horse across uh, the Great Crunk Peninsula, <laughs> across the river here to get him back to the island. So let's have a look. What do we need to make all of these things? I'm assuming it's just going to be leather uh, or at least some variations of it. Um, let's have a look here. Oh, hang on. Let's start with lead because that's the first thing that we need to do. String and leather cordage. All right, leather cordage requires string, and leather strippage requires leather and a flint work blade. Okay, I feel like we might be having a little bit of an issue coming up real, real soon, guys. How much cordage do we get from one bit of leather? We get nine leather strips from one uh, leather piece of leather. That's amazing. And I guess the cordage is made with string. We literally have one string left and we do need quite a lot of string. Do we have any string in here? No, nothing whatsoever. Okay, well, this is kind of bad, guys. We are 100% out of string right now. And, well, the sun has just gone down. And the only way I know how to get string so far is by killing sheep. And this means we're going to have to do a little bit of traveling. Let's sleep the night away, though. Oh, this feels so beautiful. Being able to sleep like this. Oh, my goodness. Um, okay, so let's put that one aside for now. Let's have a look at the saddle. Hmm. So for the saddle, we need a bunch of leather cordage also. Uh, which means we are actually going to need quite a lot of string to proceed. Unless we did this one over here first. Okay, so we'll deal with the string situation in a second. Let's have a look at some of these other ones. How about this one, the sleeping mat? That seems like a good one. If we have to go out to find string, it's probably a good idea that we have a sleeping mat. For that, we need leather, which we, which we have ample amounts of, which is awesome. Hello, squid butt. Uh, but we also need thatch thin slabs. How do we do this? Manual chopping block. Uh, we have to chop down thatch, it looks like it. And to make thatch... We need dry thatching, right? And then you compress the thatching into, like, thatch. To make dry thatching, we need uh, dry thatching? How do we make dry thatching? I'm confused. Dry thatching. Wet thatch is made out of fresh thatching. Okay. Fresh thatching is made... Okay, here we go. It's made out of rush tips and blooming rush tips. Okay. I think I'm starting to pick up what SaveTech is putting down over here, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to find a whole bunch of these rush tips. Then we're going to compress them into like a block of rush tips, I suppose, right? And then we're going to cook them, I suppose, and dry them out and then chop them. I'm just trying to think about this intuitively. I think this is actually the stuff that we need. I saw this on the island uh, a few days ago. This looks about right. Uh, what is this jazz anyway? Now, I'm assuming if we break these, we won't be able to plant them again. Let's just have a look. We might want to start planting some of these if it is actually plantable. I'm hoping that these things function like sugarcane. No, they don't. Okay, so we don't want to break all of these things. I think what we probably want to do here is just break off the tips of them or the tops of them and... I'm guessing that they're going to grow a little bit like sugarcane. Well, I'm hoping they're going to grow like sugarcane. And uh, we, we have a source of this on Crunk Island, which is actually kind of good to know. If they grow back, it's unclear at this present moment in time. We'll come back and check uh, in like an episode or two's time, right? Just to confirm whether this is how we can get the stuff. But that should probably be enough. 
I guess. I think it was only, what, four of these things to make a wet thatch block. Let's just collect a few more of this. Let's have a look. So if we cram these together, there we go. We're going to make fresh thatching. Excellent. And we can do that with the, these ones also. And then I can you combine them? Can you do them like this? Yes, you can. Okay, awesome. Um, so that's 20 bits of wet thatch. I'm assuming we stick the wet thatch into... Uh, Oh, I think what we do now is we compress the wet, that wet thatch into a block, right? It's like this, fresh thatching. Yes, there we go. Oh, nice. Okay, so wet thatching has been made. Now I think we're sticking the wet thatching into the kilns, right? We've got to dry it out. We've got to get all that moisture out of the thatching. Let's have a look if that's going to work. The kiln has accepted them. And, uh, well, we get to munch on some apples also. I guess the good thing about uh, <laughs> fruit nutrition is that the saturation is really low. So you get to eat a lot of fruit when you're on the fruit mission. Uh, but, man, we have got full, almost full freaking nourishment here, man. This is so awesome. Uh, all right, there we go. That is actually exactly what we need to do. Nice. Look at that. We got some thatch. Now, I think we need to chop the thatch, right, into smaller bits of thatch. Uh, that's going to be one thin slam. So we actually have to chop them individually over here. And that, my friends, is the thatch that we need for our sleeping mat, right? And now we need to add a little bit of leather to that. So there we go. That's the blanket. We're literally sleeping in uh, animal skin, which, well, it is the Stone Age, guys. Oh, rip rock. Okay, so that's one of our crafting rocks gone. Boom! Sleeping mat created. Nice! Oh, bed boys, bed boys. What you going to do? What you gonna do when it come for you, bed boys? Wait a minute. Uh, Krunk shouldn't know that song. He's a freaking caveman. Shall we try that again? Um, here we go. Krunk smash, krunk smash. Krunk krunk smash when the krunk smash smash. <laughs> oh, God, I'm an idiot. Um, excellent. We got the bed boys, bed boys. The sleeping mat will allow you to sleep on the go. That's exactly what we need if we're gonna go get ourselves some string. Perfect, guys. Absolutely perfect. Um... I suppose now we can do the lost but now found um, trade with the librarian. Well, at least we can figure out what the librarian wants to trade with us, right? I don't know what his trade is going to be. But we do need to go get ourselves a bunch of string. Uh, so I guess I'm going to take the work blade with me and the leather with me. Because that's all we need to make the cordage, right? And we'll take some of this cordage with us too. And I guess if we want to complete those advancements in the field, so to speak... We should make ourselves another uh, work stump, right? So let's just make another work stump real quick. And then we'll take a crafting rock with us. And that should allow us to create everything that we need when we find them sheeps. And I think there is like a massive herd of sheeps just outside of the village. We got our sleeping mat too. And we got our sharpened bone. That is all a crunk needs. We need a spare crafting rock over here also. Okay, nice. Let's head out, guys. Let's get onto our freaking raft. Head back to the village. And see if we can complete a couple more achievements today. How much stuff are we getting out of these things? I mean, it's not like the quickest way to get resources. But it is free. And it is passive. And we don't have to feed it. Which is really cool. And we'll be getting about 200 free blocks. Free resources out of that, right? So, I mean, I can't complain too much about that. It's pretty awesome. Um, but yeah, there's one of our rafts. Let's head back to the village, guys. <laughs> we'll go check up on the skeleton bones also. Just make sure that they're still there. And yeah, we still have a ridiculous amount of bone meal, bone meal available to us if we need. And I guess we can keep our eyeballs open here. Scout for any sheeps along the way. Um, I think that there might be a plant also that we could find in Sevtech. It's like a cotton plant that I think we can create string from. I haven't seen them yet, though. But that would be really, really helpful. If we can actually produce cotton, if we can just produce skin, uh, skin, <laughs> string somehow, right? That would actually be really helpful. Maybe that's something that we should aim for. But uh, yeah, I'm not seeing any of those plants anywhere around here. Although this is like a massive supply of reeds here, right? Look at that. Oh, now that we know what we need for all of that thatching, um, it's very easy to see it. Maybe, maybe we can use some of that thatching to make like an outdoor house or something, right? Like one of our very first outdoor houses could have like a, a beautiful thatch roof. That could be awesome. Uh, where is that sun anyway? I think we're at midday right now, so we should be okay. Um, but yeah, I think the last time I came here, I stopped off on this shore 
And I think there might have been a couple of sheep just up here. Yes, there they are. Hello, sheep. I am very sorry about this, uh, sheeps, but I am going to need a little bit of your, your fur. I, I am sorry. Um, yeah, I, I know you're panicking, my dude. Listen, it's, it's gonna be quick, okay? You won't feel anything. The, the, I, I'm able to take you out in one hit. It's it's kind of like, a, you know, just boom, one day you're here and then the next day you're gone. It, it's just how it has to be, guys. I'm, I'm really sorry, okay? I do feel bad about it. I apologize. Um, and, well, you guys will meet again in sheep heaven, I'm sure. And <laughs> your sacrifice will not go in vain, okay? Every little bit of your body I will be using. I will be eating your meat. I will be making your pelt into leather, and I will be using your fur to make string. So don't, please don't feel like it is a waste of sheep life. Sheep. I'm not sure if I'm talking to the sheep or talking to the sheep lovers out there, but I guess I'm talking to both. <laughs> okay, so that's six white fleece. That should probably be more than enough. We can actually make string using the, the work blade over here, right? Like we cut that fleece up into strips of string. And uh, you know what? It's a really hot day here on the plains. Let's chill underneath this tree and uh, we can set up a little bit of a workstation over here. The rest of you sheep, you are fine. You have been saved by the fact that your other sheepish brethren were extremely furry. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Okay, so guys, let's work on that lead. Uh, I think I actually remember the recipe. It's kind of simple, right? It was some leather cordage with a bit of string in the middle. And that should, uh, if we crunk smash up in here, crunk a smash a smash a smash. There we go. That's going to make for us, wait, that didn't make the right thing. That made leather cordage. And for that, yeah, that's right. We did need the leather cordage, right? I knew that was a part of the recipe. The cordage is in the center. And then I guess we like wrap it or something. Um, I'm trying to like intuit intuitively see how these recipes work. But every now and then the recipe doesn't quite make sense. <laughs> but there we go. We made a lead. Nice. Oh, that is absolutely awesome. Let's get some more apples in the belly here though. Um, so that's one more achievement done today, guys. Oh my goodness. Look how many extra hearts we have not right now. We have five extra hearts. That's pretty insane. Uh, did that unlock anything? Oh, the wheels on the bus. That is awesome. We can craft horse carts. Okay, let's not get ahead of ourselves here, guys. Let's take this one step at a time. We have got a lot of save tech to get through. Right, we need to make a bunch of leather cordage now. And we do that like... Uh, that is done with the leather strippage, right? Yeah, we need to do the leather strips like this with the string over there. And the Grunkus Smash action. Beautiful. One cordage. We can make one more. And I think we need three cordages to make a saddle, right? I kind of like how we have to make our own saddles in Save Tech. I think that's kind of cool. Um, and we're going to have to strip a couple more bits of leather over here for some more leather strips. So let's get the leather strips. And it is like this, I think. Wait, have I missed a step? I No, I haven't. Okay, good stuff. So there we go. That is the cordage that we require, right? The leather cordage at the bottom. And then if I remember the recipe correctly, it's leather on top. And this should make for ourselves a saddle. Yes! Nice! We made our very first saddle. Oh my goodness, Crunk is definitely entering a new era of transportation up in here. And look at that, there is a carriage that we can create. And a gear? And what is this? No more chopping wood by hand? What? Oh, so horses are going to be able to do stuff for us. There's a horse-powered grindstone. Oh my goodness, that is so sweet, dudes. That is so epic. So we'll be able to use a horse to automate some of those really tedious processes that we have in SevTech, like grinding flour, for example. There's so many horses here. Oh, that is so epic. Okay, let's focus on just getting one horse for now. Um... Although I would like to go and see what the librarian requires for that ant antique um, trade or whatever it is. The antique book or whatever that he requires, right? Let's get ready to sleep over here too though. That sun is going down. And when the sun goes down around villages, I get really worried. And this looks like a perfectly good spot for a caveman to sleep. Right on the edge of a river. It's absolutely beautiful. We probably should wash all the sheep blood off us also, right? Let's have a quick rinse because that was a little bit of a sheep massacre. I'm not going to lie. Still feeling a little bit bad about that. Um, anyway, is there a cartographer in here? Oh, here we go. Look at this. Oh, we actually saw this recipe, didn't we? Feathers, ink sackage, gives us the empty antique atlas. Okay. Unfortunately, I know that I've seen chickens, 
but I just can't remember where the chickens were. Can you guys remember where the chickens were? I don't think we can get any chickens from these guys. Oh, grape seeds. Oh my goodness, guys. There are cotton seeds. Oh, cotton seeds. Hold the freaking phone. We have got some baked potatoes. He will give us cotton seeds. The source of all string and wool. Dudes, I just, I just nailed it. I didn't even realize that that was even possible. That is epic. Nice. We just sorted out our string and our wool situation. And maybe we can replant uh, the cotton instead of the barley, maybe. Because barley and grain basically do exactly the same thing at our farm. So maybe we can start growing cotton instead of barley. And that is going to add a really useful um, crop to the crunk cropolis. <laughs> I mean, the crunk agriculture empire. Wow, these are a lot of sheep over here. Sheep, you are all safe. Crunk just learned to grow cotton. Crunk, grow cotton. Crunk, go, grow cotton. <laughs> man, Crunk is learning a lot today, guys. I'm, I'm super proud of him. Oh, man. Nostalgia's kicking in, guys. I recognize this area. This is where we started the series 10 hours ago. It's absolutely gorgeous out here, isn't it? It's nice to be back. Uh, I kind of want to go and, tr and tr try and tame that horse, though. For the last part of today's episode having a look at, at my watch here we're kind of running out of time uh but man there are so many other cool things to unlock over the next few episodes guys absolutely so excited about it also hang on i i think i've gone way too far for where that horse was i think that horse was somewhere around here yes i recognize this little lake uh with these beautiful pink trees around it yeah, this is exactly where they were. Oh, that is such a beautiful horse. The, the horse that I'm thinking of, though, it was like gray. There it is. Yes, that was the one. I'm pretty sure that this horse was ridiculously fast. Uh, it seemed to run at an incredible pace. Yes, this is the one. Oh, he is beautiful. Look at him. Smokey, I think is what I'm going to call him. Uh, he looks absolutely epic. 28 is a number that he's got next to his name. I don't know what that means. Uh, but shall we try tame him? Please, my dude. Oh, look at him. Yeah, he is really quick, isn't he? Okay, here we go. Let's see if we can get a horse as our uh, new best friend. Crunk need a horse. Oh, my goodness. Come on, Smokey. You know you want to hang out with Crunk, man. Every Crunk needs himself a horse. Every caveman eventually discovered how to tame dogs and wolves and horses and all manners of animals and that's how we're going to progress to the industrial age come on horse come on my dude you know you want to be friends with me man is it like much more difficult to like tame horses in save tech wait a minute wait a minute is that it yes no dang it okay um how do we do this do we have to like is it different is taming a horse different in save tech i feel like it might be uh, he just raised his butt at me. Um, so it might be a little bit different. What happens if we put a lead on him? Is that going to work? I, I want to tame you though, man. Come on, let me ride you. Um, okay, hold on. Let's try this again. Maybe... There! It did actually work! Yes! Smokey and Crunk! Friends forever! Oh, man. This is awesome, guys. We just got ourselves an epic equestrian steed. His name is Smokey. We've got our saddle. Let's see how quick he is. Oh my goodness. Yeah, he flies. He absolutely flies. Look at the speed. This is amazing. Got me heart Smokey hands also, guys. Oh my goodness. That leapage. That is insane. That is definitely higher leapage than... Oh my goodness. I can't believe it. Look how high you can jump. That is definitely higher than in vanilla Minecraft. Right, guys? That feels like four blocks or something. That is amazing. We got ourselves our very first horse, guys. This is just the best. This might be better to use Smokey to travel than a raft, actually. Uh, if we can drag some Smokey across the Crunk Peninsula. And Smokey is going to be put to work on Crunk Island, man. we got lots of automation to do with this beautiful equestrian buddy of ours. Uh, I guess next step is to get him home, though. And that might be a little bit of a task. But guys, we've run out of time for today's episode. Uh, I hope you have enjoyed it, though, man. And I cannot wait to see you in the next one. Smokey and I, we're going to go on some adventures together. It is going to be epic. My dudes, Crunk, Rendog, and Smokey, <laughs> sign it out. We'll see you in the next episode.